Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new cards coming out in Maximum Gold. We have the full spoiler list and we've got some of the rarities here to kind of see exactly what the heck they look like in physical form. Keep in mind some of them might be foreign as of right now, uh, but nonetheless we get to see the artwork as there is alternate artwork here on some of these cards. Now, this isn't out yet. El Dorado Maximum Gold over here doesn't come out until about three weeks here in the TCG, but nonetheless there are people that already have these, so they're basically showing off the entire rarity list over here. So uh, one person over on Twitter, Dual Daddy, made a really nice post. So it basically covers all the info that I do want to go ahead and go over. So big shout outs to them for this. But anyways, it uh, will be coming out. We, we already went over the release date. It's $30 per uh the box and you get multiple different packs and to go over kind of what it looks like in terms of the packs you do get four packs with seven cards each and then two premium gold rares and five gold letter rares so that's kind of what it looks like and I'll get into that and they actually did a really really nice post so there are new alternate artworks and for those of you guys that want to see every new alternate artwork it's IP Mascarina, Nightmare Unicorn, Rescue Cat, Firewall, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, the Eldritch, Golden Lord, Danger Bigfoot, Familiar Possessed Lineup, Black Rose Dragon, Ghost Mourner, and Moonlit Chill. But now moving on to the card. So every card that is the premium gold bear, you'll see where it says the PGR over here. So like I said, this guy, big shout outs to him because he made this so much easier. Otherwise, I would have had to went through every single one to kind of give you guys a better list. So looking at it and checking out the nice little uh, reprints over here, like he said, Exodia uh, is getting that. We already showed off that one in the very beginning as the uh, premium uh, over there with this. I mean, it does look pretty clean so far, at least via this picture over here. Keep in mind, different regions are getting these at different times. So potentially we could see different like, you know, ink variants. Are you Usually over in the EU, they get like darker print cards. And that's why I like those ones. But nonetheless, uh, Exodia, fantastic like print for any like a uh, fan of just like collecting the cards. Uh, but then we also have Ray that's still relatively popular. And then Invoke Macabre also still very popular uh, in terms of like running it. And Ghost Mourner is still like a decent uh, card. And then we do also have Gamma. We have Lagia Dolka over here. Uh, more, more importantly, in the metagame, obviously, the Preta Plant Anaconda. We have IP Mascarena, Axos Code Talker. Those are fantastic cards. And then we have classic Yu Gi Oh cards. You know what? I mean, like, it's not the most meta to play Regeki and Book of Moon, but I still like seeing these cards come out in higher rarity. There's also Extravagance. Uh, and then we also have, like, the Premium Gold Red Invocation. And then also Mystic Mind getting a reprint over here, Gold Sark. I mean, it's just, it's got gold on it, so why not, right? Other cards over here that are also getting the premium goal where we have numeron storm torrential starlight road uh conquistador but there's also a lot of the dinosaur stuff although maybe this is a hint that dinosaurs will be coming back uh later down the line with the newer list if we could just get a couple more um you know newer dinosaur cards maybe that they could come back there's the, all the red dragon archfiend stuff there is new synchro stuff that recently got released so that's kind of cool for that. Then we have the Phantom uh, Knights over here. Those are all getting reprinted in here. Kind of nice. All the Numeron stuff as well. Then number 41. Nice little car. All the Alter Guy stuff. So this is, again, going over it. Now, the ones that say don't say pre premium gold rare, then obviously, yeah, you know that that's not going to be the rarity here. Uh, but looking at the other uh, reprints, Prank Kids, that's still a relatively decent archetype for sure. Uh, and then also Deep Sea Diva. There, we are getting more water stuff in the abyss. We'll probably get a reprint in there as well. Then we got Eva, fantastic card. Then we have the White and Black Dragons, Magic. Jesse's Fiend. Uh, then we got Firewall, though it's been nerfed. Uh, we got Upstart Goblin. Fantastic card to always get. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much summing it up. I was also checking out the pre-sale prices. There's nothing right now because, I mean, again, people just got this. But I'm curious to know what you guys think of this set already. I do think it's cool that we are getting the IP Mascarina on the car. That's probably my favorite. And if you guys do want to check it out, I will also leave it at, down below. The organization has more pictures. You know what? Let's just go through them really quick. Why not? Uh, as there are lots of different uh, rarities and uh, also getting the artwork. I think my favorite is the Nightmare unicorn as well as the masquerade i'm curious to know which one is your favorite but let, let's go check them uh, out real quick and the source is down below some of the uh youtubers from different areas that's why some of them are in not english uh, but nonetheless uh, I've got the uh, Numeron Storm over here. Again, Unicorn definitely looks really cool. I want to get my hands on a Unicorn. Replace that. I've always liked this one. There's also the Advent Calendar Black Rose Dragon that just like feel like it looks like it has a different print as well. Um, but then Rescue Cat, completely different. Uh, although that has been kind of... Uh, 
phased out for the most part. I remember when Cat OTK was a thing. So here is, we can just see the uh, gold lettering. This is the first time I think I'm showing you guys this rarity uh, where we see it's just the text. So it's almost like a rare, but it's like in gold text, I guess, is kind of what they're doing. Then we have the familiar possess. These are like zoomed up artworks on these. And then once again, Mascarina. I love this one. This is by far my favorite print uh, over here. And then we also have the Destiny Hero Plasma. That stuff is actually pretty good. I mean, the Phoenix Enforcer, that car is still over $100. And then we have classic Red Eyes Black Dragon over here with the newer uh, gold, premium gold red. It looks cool as well. Then this one's, uh, I believe, in a, it was a German. Um, it goes Mourner, and then there's the entire list, which I basically went over because that other person, Dual Daddy, just posted it like perfectly over here, uh, where you get to see every single rarity. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the video. Uh, I'm curious to know, are you guys gonna be getting this? There's a lot of decent, uh, again, uh, cards in here, but I think people that already have their decks, unless you just want like a reprint uh, of a different rarity, I mean, I, I'd say maybe your, your best bet is just to buy the singles because there isn't anything new in here that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a easily like $300 card uh, at the moment, but still nice again, just to get reprints and people that want to build certain things and you can increase your rarities. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and you do want to be up to date on new Yu-Gi-Oh products in the future, make sure you guys are subscribed with the bell notification on and you'll definitely see more very soon. Take care. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. I'm out. Peace.